So you wanna build a tech map, one of the most iconic styles that's been a part of Trackmania for over two decades. You might assume that after all this time, there'd be a strict set of rules for you to follow when creating these types of maps, and to some degree, there are. And that's why I'm here to share some of the most valuable things that I've learned throughout my years of mapping this style. Giving you some tips and tricks that you can use when you take on the challenge to build your own tech map. In essence, a tech map is all about utilizing the brakes of the car to make up time by drifting around corners. When it comes to creating a tech turn, a helpful approach is to break it down into three parts. The first one being the setup. A drift can be initiated in different ways, with the most common ones being turning a car while holding brake, auto sliding from a slippery surface, and lastly landing the car angle from a jump. The setup phase serves as a way to get the car ready to start drifting. If you are familiar with gears, aiming for a high rev count in gear 4 is optimal for a slow drift. But if not, then you can just go for a speed around 280 to avoid the complications of gear changes mid-drift. One of the most common mistakes made by beginners when creating their first tech map is initiating drifts at too low speed, or failing to provide enough room for a proper setup. This often results in maps that are overly tight or where the fastest way to navigate a turn is by performing a neo slide. A nail slide is a type of drift where executing specific inputs in quick succession makes the car slide at lower speeds than it typically would. While nail slides have their place, most players consider a tech map uncalculated if that is the optimal approach to take a turn. So therefore, it is generally better to avoid these turns, ensuring a smoother and more accessible experience for all players. The most effective way to prevent the issue of nail slide turns is to ensure that players can easily initiate a drift simply by steering and applying the brake. In a typical nail slide turn, the car often ends up no sliding when attempting to drift. You can see whether the car is no sliding by looking at the skid marks behind the car. If you see two lines of skid marks, then that indicates a no slide. On the other hand, if there are four skid marks, it means that the car is drifting as desired. Extended testing is essential to building a good tech map, which means that the better you are at driving, the easier it will be to judge how good a turn is. The setup phase can be the most challenging part of creating a tech turn, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't work out perfectly right away. The next step is the actual turn. This is where the player typically holds the brake to either initiate or extend their drift. The key consideration here is to make that the turn feels enjoyable to drive. This is also where you can decide which way you want to take with the map next, allowing your creativity to shine and making the turns unique. There is no strict guidelines for what you can do in this phase, just make sure that it is fun to drive. However, make sure that you're not holding the brake for too long as the car may unintentionally gear down in that case. Gear down drifts are controversial and hard to pull off well, so unless you really know what you're doing, it is best to avoid them for now. Next and last phase of the turn is the exit, where you have released the brake and your car begins to regain speed again. The design of the exit and how you decide to build the setup for the next drift will influence the most efficient line throughout the turn. Always make sure to test the entire section multiple times to ensure that it drives exactly as you intended. By combining these three steps effectively in every turn, you'll be on your way to create a banger tech map in no time. Just don't forget to have fun while doing so. Anyways, that is it for this time, see you in the next one.